Hey, welcome. We are finally racing the midget tonight here at Archfield. I've just come out of the car after doing hot laps. Engine for the first sort of quarter of the lap did really good. And then I just, uh, it was so slimy up top and I whacked the wall and the dude behind me whacked the wall and he flipped it, unfortunately. But um, so I started, restarted again to do a couple more laps uh, in hot laps and the engine was bogging down a bit. Um, so I pulled in, I think we're just gonna chuck another set of plugs in it and uh, see what, see if we can make it go any better. We are starting from second in this next race, but I think we might just nominate start from the rear just in case, you know, something we don't want to get run over because if the car's not performing right. So, um, yeah, welcome. Sorry about the rust intro, but I'll show you around the trailer later on and I'll tell you what, show you what we're doing. They usually give us like a lap and a half to get it started, so I couldn't start it. So uh, we went out for the next heat just to get onto the back of that heat and just so we could start it. Because we pulled the fuel tank off here, so I had to get fuel the whole way through the lines. So yeah, we got it started, so we'll head out now for a heat. We're starting from the rear and I mean, we're behind big time on the eight ball on the setup, but I don't know, we'll just send it. The GoPro didn't want to record um, the first part of the race, it just decided to record from straight from here. But pretty much, long story short, we sucked. Uh, the car is still misfiring a little bit. We're having big problems with fuel. So, uh, so yeah, we did. We come, I think, second last in this one. Um, but hopefully we find the problem and um, we'll better fix it up. <laughs> Feature time. So, yeah, we didn't go any good then. It was sort of not running 100% and then it all of a sudden just cleared up big time and it nearly rolled my eye back, ball back in the back of my head. Uh, then it went alright then it started dying again so we cleaned the injectors out. We usually clean them out all the time but I don't know, it must have been that still that dirty fuel in there from before. So yeah we're just going to give it a full slick setup now and um, probably run the wall. You know we've been doing this for years, Dad, and you only just worked it out. <laughs> Caitlin's got it on a watch. Yeah, Brad's got to do the wheel up first. Sorry? Brad's got to do the wheel up.
Chris Singleton. Uh, I think it was Cal Watmore just got into the back of him and just gave him a little tap. And that was enough to put that left rear down.
Huh? Are they? It's not about that bad. Dude, that was sick. Dude, I'm love American races, eh? That was a totally different car then. Man, I ran out of brakes without no brakes. That's why I was slowing down so much. I was just tipping in and flicking it. Oh man, I had no brakes at all. Good effort, man. Thank you. <laughs> you Yeah, so that was definitely causing the um, the misfire. Sort of glad we found that. Uh, no, Brad, you'll get turned <coughs> on. <laughs> we're all living off about four hours. No, we're all. You're not. I'll do some editing. Hang on. I don't even know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> and, uh, what I'm trying to say is, <laughs> in conclusion. <laughs> They got, they got. <laughs> Everyone's like, uh, and and and. <laughs> so as you can see, we found the problem of the, the uh, misfiring about half throttle. So we'll fix that. Uh, we got brake pedal this morning, which tells us it's on wrong with the, the fluid. We must have boiled it. So we'll put flush all that brake fluid out, put some new fresh stuff in, and we'll scale it and uh, head back to the track in a couple of hours, and we're all living off we're all operating off only a couple of hours sleep so anyway night two will be coming up probably the next couple of days out that our issues were a lot bigger than what we initially thought. Uh, our fuel pump is no good. That's what's been causing the car to barely run last night and not even run tonight. So we're just going to put it in the trailer, we're going to have a quick kit because we're also buggered and we'll get put on the dyno on Thursday so we're ready for Toowoomba on Saturday. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.